guys, so today we're gonna be setting up your computer. We're gonna start just with the basics, okay? Just get this whole thing started really fast. Right now we have your mouse right here. Your mouse. To open this up, it's really easy. Here on the back, you guys can just lift this up. So here, just lift this up. It actually lifts up really easy. Okay, it's supposed to do that. Now you guys can just put in some batteries. So these are triple A's. They should have come with your computer. So these are the triple A's. Put them in here and then we can get started. Okay, so we're just gonna slide these guys in, slide those in, put this right here. There we go. And then to turn it on right here, you guys will see that this turns green. And then you guys are supposed to see that light. So there's a light that turns on right there. This is green, that means it's on. At this point in time, we're gonna turn it off just for now. However, once we turn on our actual computer, we're gonna turn this on and we have to plug in this adapter into our computer, okay? So this will be into USB port on the back. So I'll show you that in a second. Now let's get this set up. On the back, you guys will see this. Now you guys can just pull this and it's supposed to come up. This is a not as easy as the mouse, for example, but again, it's not supposed to be a hassle to put that in. So we're gonna set that up. So we're done. Now this is different. You guys will see a light right here. Okay, just in the caps lock. That means it's on. Okay, once that light is on, you guys are good to go. So, this thing. This is the easiest thing. It's just like any laptop. So you guys have to plug that in there. This will go to your electricity. This will go into the back of your computer right here. I'm gonna show you right now. On the back of your computer, you guys are gonna see this in the middle. That's where you're supposed to plug this in. So that goes right in there, okay? And then this is just your USB, okay? You guys can also plug in any wired mouse or keyboard that you like, but this is what comes with the computer. So you guys can plug this in actually anywhere. I suggest just plug it in right here because it's almost the least accessible one because it's so close to here. It's almost the least accessible. The other ones are a little bit more accessible. So I tend to leave those empty. So right now we're ready to set up your computer. If you guys have a wired connection, that's going to go right here. So it's your ethernet. Then you have HDMI cables, right? So you guys can plug in those there and you have two other USB ports available at the moment. So on the top of your computer, you guys will see this switch. So if you have it like that, that means people can see you through your camera. So if somebody hacks through your camera right here, they can see you. However, if you guys close it off, they can't because this is physically closing off your camera. Okay. And a lot of people, I know they put stickers over their cameras nowadays. So I guess that's why they made this so they can physically close it. And that way people, no matter if they get hacked, they cannot access your camera. Anyways, that's a pretty cool feature. I'm going to go down there right now. So to turn on your computer right here on the left hand side below, you guys will feel a button. You guys will see this as well. So you guys can rip this off. You don't have to have it there, but you will feel a button that you can press, physically press to turn on the computer. And that's how you turn it on. So I just want to mention that you do have headphones that you can plug in under here, plus SD card and a USB import right here underneath. So here they are. You guys can see right there, headphones, SD card slot, and USB. Here's the power button. It's hard to get a good shot of it, but here it is. It's really small. You guys will feel it. And as long as you guys hold on to it, it's going to turn on. Okay. So at this point, you guys should have plugged in your computer into some electricity. We're going to turn on your mouse. Now, don't worry if your mouse doesn't work right away, you guys can do the touch screen and then sync it up, but it's supposed to sync right away. You guys are not supposed to have any problems with it whatsoever. But again, it's a touch screen, so you guys are pretty lucky. We're gonna get started right now with the main setup of your computer. Just press the button, you're supposed to see HP, then it's supposed to blow it up, okay? So, make sure to have Wi-Fi on your house or hook up that ethernet cable to your computer. I already showed you where you guys could do that. At this point, your mouse is supposed to work. If it's not working, you guys can always touch the screen. It is a touch screen. I'm just gonna use the mouse. I like to keep my screen nice and clean. So I'm going to choose US. You guys can use French as well if that's what you guys want. Go into next or yes. Then it's going to say just a moment. This is not supposed to take too long. Hi there. I'm Cortana and I'm here to help. 
a little sign in here, a touch of Wi-Fi there, and we'll have your PC ready for all you plan to do. Use your voice or the keyboard along the way, and if you'd like me to stay quiet, just select the little microphone icon towards the bottom of your screen. If you need an assistive screen reader, press the Windows, Control, and Enter keys at the same time to turn on Narrator. Okay, enough intro. Let's dig in. Your region is set to Canada. Is that right? So at this point, you guys can choose any region. It doesn't have to be Canada. It can be anywhere in the world, basically. All right. So you can choose U.S. or whatever. Right now, Cortana is trying to... Your keyboard is set to U.S. Want to stick with that? Yes. Or I'm just going to click yes. Do you also type with another keyboard layout? Uh, no. Now let's get you connected to a network. That way, you can get updates, apps, and cat videos as soon as possible. So we're going to choose How this. How about the first one on the list? Want to use that one? No. So we're going to choose the second one, okay? So you guys can talk to this and get it set up, but it can be kind of annoying. So we're just going to go second one. We're going to go connect. It depends what you guys are. You guys will see a whole list right here. Now type your credential. Now type your credentials. So once you guys put in your password, connect up, you guys can put disconnect if you want to. However, you don't have to do that right now. Don't do that right now. Just go next. Now we have some important setup to do. So this might take a while if your internet speed's quite slow, because it is downloading some content for you guys actually at this point. Now However, let's see what's new from Windows. Pretty fast regardless. Next up, the legal stuff. In short, you'll need to select accept to use Windows. So again, you decline, just go next. Then, you know, accept, no. I mean. You don't have to listen to Cortana all the time. Just hit accept, Type accept, your accept. email address or phone number, then follow the instructions to sign in. I'll catch up with you once that's done. Okay, at this point, what you guys can do, if you guys have a Hotmail account, you guys can put it right there. Okay, you guys can put an email as well. Um, you guys can put a phone number, Skype you. Create account. If you guys don't have an account, I suggest creating an account. It's just better. It syncs up everything better. However, you don't have to, you guys can choose this option to go offline, okay? So you guys can do an offline account. However, again, just so everything syncs up better, it's better just to put in email right there or create an account. At this point, since we wanna skip all this, we're just gonna go to offline account. Or like I said- You're about to set up an offline account, but I wanted to make sure you know, Windows works way better with a Microsoft account. Do you wanna do that instead? No. So like I said, you guys will be missing on all this. You guys can sign in anyways. So if you even skip that right now because you guys want to use it, Type your it's email no big address deal. Or phone. So I'm going to go offline. You're about to set up an I'm going to go account. no. Type what you want to name your account. You guys can name it whatever you guys want. Okay. So you just have to type it in right there. So with your mouse and keyboard, you guys can type in. So for example, I want to name this tech. and design channel. So I'm just gonna type that in. You guys can type in a shorter name. For example, I'm just gonna type in tech and design because tech and design channel was a little bit too long. I wouldn't choose anything long anyways, and that's gonna stay there. Okay, to now choose that later on, it's actually kinda account. hard. So right now we can always use this option, okay? But we're just gonna do this at this point. So we're gonna type in whatever password you guys want. So I'm going to type in one, two, three, four, five. Of course, you guys should use something more secure. And one more time to make sure we've got one, it right. One, two, three, four, five. Now you can set up three security questions to help you reset your password if you forget it. Choose the first question and type your answer. So just type in here. Okay, select this. And then select any one of these. So you guys could choose what's your first pet's name. Sure. We're going to type in tech. You now guys for can the second one. Same questions, drill. by the way. So we're gonna choose the second option. What's the name of the city you were born? I'm gonna type in tech. Third one's a charm. Choose your last question, type the answer, and you're good to go. And tech. 
So remember, hey, look, that you guys, that's me. it's very Hold important on. that you guys can remember all of these to questions. Use the info okay? I need to do my best work. So you guys can do a check mark here, and then go yes. I suggest doing that. These are the settings that. Microsoft recommends. Go ahead and review them, and select accept when you're ready. So same deal for most of you. You guys want all these on. Yes, you guys can turn them off at any time, even if you set them off differently right now. We can always change these later on. So we're just going to go into a set right now. Your device manufacturer would like your contact info to send you updates and such. Okay, so this part, just fill it in and then go next. Once you guys hit next, you guys will see this. So it's up to you guys what you guys want to share and what you guys want to get. So you guys can uncheck any one of these that you guys want or check them all out. It's up to you guys again. Then just hit next. Almost done now. We just need to get a few more things polished up for you and Windows will be all yours. Looking forward to helping out. So at this point in time, this is exactly where you're supposed to see. Just wait for it. It's gonna set up everything. And you guys can get started and just use this right away. It's just a regular computer, touch screen. You guys can use your mouse, keyboard as well. So it's it makes it pretty easy for to set this up. Okay, guys, so at this point in time, we are all done. This whole thing's supposed to set up for you. You guys will see all this stuff. You guys can sign up for whatever you guys want. You guys can close anything. It's just a regular computer. There's nothing really to it. You do have touch screen, which is the best. And you guys can sign up for anything that you guys want. Obviously, you guys will probably want with the internet and download Google Chrome and stuff like that. So you guys can do that for Internet Explorer or Microsoft Edge, depending. So I'm gonna close all for now. Right here is pretty much everything. Okay, so here we go. And that's it for this setup tutorial. If you guys have any questions, comments, you guys can write them down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.